Dragi makedonci i naši prijatelji, sledujo prvi del od reportažata od Makedonskata Hokejarska liga. Uživajte! It's a great honor to speak with the president of the MK Hockey League, the Macedonian Hockey League, Paul Taskas. We are in Vaughan, um, and this is the semifinals of the league. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with um, MK Hockey League, the Macedonian Hockey League. Well, what happened was the Macedonian Hockey League, which folded, I believe, about 10 years ago, uh, for unknown reasons, I really don't know why. It was a very, very good league. We were all part of it, all the boys that play in my league. About seven years ago, I was at, uh, actually, the gentleman who helps me in this league very much, Brad Karoulis, I was at his engagement. And all of us, all us Macedonians were there and we're all finding that we're playing in different men's leagues in the city. And you know, we're frustrated by it because there's a lot of fighting and a lot of garbage in those leagues. So uh, they all dared me. They said, why don't you start up the Macedonian Hockey League again? Because they know that's the type of person I am. So I took their dare and I put a deposit in and I hoped for the best. On, uh, it was 2009, summer. Uh, I hoped everyone would help recruit guys for me. I had a lot of help from guys like, uh, you know, Chris Carafal, John Skinderis, Derek Servos. I have to mention these guys because they were a big part of uh, helping me start the league. Brad Karoulis, Alex Stoyan. These gentlemen brought out a lot of friends in the community and a lot of Macedonians and lo and behold we had a great first season and we've been going seven seasons strong in the summer and we've done four winter seasons. We're about to go into our seventh season. So. You, you stay a little bit under the radar. Would you say that's part of the success of the league? Yeah, you know what? We, we've been offered sponsorships and all that kind of stuff that goes along with being part of leagues. And to be honest with you, the boys like what we got going on here. What we have is an affordable, safe hockey league. They basically just pay for themselves. We get a good price. The Sports Village has been excellent with me. And um, I just, you know, it's a lot of organizing is what it is. And that's what I'm good at. And I enjoy doing it for the guys. We're at about 60% uh, Macedonians at any given time. Uh, but we have, through the years, acquired some tremendous players uh, like the Nikolai Boroshevsky's sons play with us now, Val and Nikolai Jr. We have uh, Dmitry Miranov's son, Igor Miranov plays. These are all world-class players, like they played overseas. Uh, and some of our own Macedonians that have played very competitive levels, university, um, junior hockey, Alex Stoyan. We had Jamie Ritzkos in the league for some years. We have uh, Sash Pavlovsky. Darren Pandovsky, all these boys have played very competitive, amazing players. That's great. Now we saw the logo, you have the logo, which is a beautiful logo created um, by Bill Pavlovsky. Absolutely. So it's, an amazing, it's an amazing logo actually. Yes, Bill actually, uh, Bill Pavlovsky has been a huge help with a lot of things in the league. He's helped us organize a charity event that we um, had once to, for a cause and we're going to do many more now. Bill designed the logo, I'm sure we'll uh, speak to Bill after me. <laughs> and uh, he did a great job and we love the shield and they wear it proud. That's actually one of our unique rules in the league. They gotta wear their complete jerseys and socks or they get a penalty, which is not normal in any other league. But I want these guys to wear that logo proud and even the people who aren't Macedonian wear it and they have to. Сега ќе зборуваме малку на македонски. Мајка ти татко ти се од кој место? Од кој село? Мама ми е од Мама е од Ботвам, двете се од Леден, мама е од Баница и тате е од Горничево. Габра се со. И Бог да го прости. Колку години си во оваа лига? А 7 години го име во лига од summer time. Не знам се ти. Кажи на за летото. За летото. Има и ли, има има лига и за летото и за зимата. Ја има и, и за летото има седум години сега, за зимата четири години. Тоа е многу добро. Зошто е важно да имаме македонска лига? 
Много обал са детства, сети сбор ме магадонски, сети се знаеме, тук дуеме, не, не ме тробо много. Ако некои сака да игра во ова лига, како може да го стори тоа? Ако вот на вебсайт www.mkhockey.ca, има тамо info at mkhockey.ca, може да остат има име и фон номер и телефон. Сега сме близо до крајот на годината за зимата, но кога ќе почне и кога ќе почнат игрите на летото? Летото почне на април 29. А сега сме фол, unfortunately, ама never know. За другата зима може. Yes. И кога ќе почне зимата, зимските игри, кога ќе почне? Октомври почне. Октомври. Yes. А Пао беше многу убаво да зборуваме со тебе денеска. Дали имаш на крај еден поздрав? една порака за македонците. Дали имаш нешто да кажеш на нашите гледачи? Ние сме македонци и дене го загубиме нашто македонски јазек. Бил, ти играш за тим од мала преспа, но како што знам јас има четири тимови во ова мака хоки лига, односно македонска хоки, хокеарска лига. Именувајте ги сите четири тимови. А, да, а, имаме ние а, мала преспа, Вардар, Еге и Пирин. Сите места кај што се наши македонци. Од разни делови на Македонија, од Пиринскиот крај, од Мала Преспа, од Вардарска Македонија, од Егејска Македонија, значи целокупна Македонија. Да. А, дали, дали си горд што играш во ова лига? Што е добро во ова лига? Зошто ти се допаѓа? А, сигурно сум. А, јас а, све порастен македонец, а, знам во Канада сум роден, ама крвта ми е македонско. И, а, Кога можам, јас само а, сакам да поможам наша комьюнити. Дали во црква, дали во хаки, во спорт вака, што било. И а, да, се, да се бериме со нашите луѓе и другари наши македонци што се. А, многу убаво, не, не само за нас што играме овде заедно, ама за сите македонци. Тоа е многу добро. Дали имаш еден поздрав на крај од денешниот разговор за македонците кои ја гледаат ова програма и кои може би сака да учествуваат, сака да станат членови на ова лига? А, само а, сакам да речем, а, елајте да не гледате. А, во летото играме а, секој Среда и во зимата играме на неделата, ама цел скеджуал можете да видиш на mkhockey.ca и а, ке, ке видиш што има тамо. Бил Павловски, много ти благодариме. Фала. Драги македонци и наши пријатели, ни е голема чест да разговараме со новинарот за хокей при вестникот National Post, Майкл Трайкос. Майкл, it's a great honor to speak with you today. Што правиш? Сполајви што имате на нашите македонска програма. Много и ние сме благодарни што, што си со нас денеска. We're very proud that you're with us today. Michael, um, we're here at the Macedonian Hockey League semifinals. First of all, did you know there was a Macedonian Hockey League? You know what, I used to play in the Macedonian Hockey League years ago with my brother and my uncle uh, Steven Mosquetis used to play in that league as well. And uh, so I know that there's a, a rich history there with the uh, Macedonians and playing hockey and especially in this area. That's amazing. I'm just going to start off today's interview by mentioning some some Canadian Macedonians who have been involved in the sport, in the sport of hockey over the years. In the coaching field, Tommy Ivan, Steve Steyos, assistant coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Player, players in the NHL, of course, Steven Stamkos, the superstar, Ed Jovanovski, Jose Theodore, Christopher Tanev, Steven Gatsos, Mike Angelides, Chris Katsopoulos, Michael Zigomanis, Alex Stoyanov, Dan Janchevsky, and in the management field, the owners of the Detroit Red Wings and Toronto Maple Leafs respectively in the past, uh, Mr. Steve Stavro, and the Detroit Red Wings, Mike Illich, and the broadcaster, Steve Coolius of Macedonian Heritage. So Macedonians have certainly made their mark in, in hockey. Yeah, and you know what? The list could probably go on and on. We're probably leaving a, a lot of guys out of that mix, but yeah, it seems like uh, not only are Macedonians playing hockey and are involved with hockey, they're at the highest level. When you think about Steven Stamkos this year, second in goals in the NHL, one of the best stars in hockey, and 
You mentioned Steven Steos, uh, a thousand game veteran in the NHL, now, now playing a prominent role with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So definitely a rich history there and, and a lot of uh, a lot of pride there with uh, hockey and Macedonians. That's great. And you, you played in the Canadian Macedonian Hockey League. It was a league that, that existed a few years ago. Um, and this is just a continuation of the Macedonian Hockey League here in Canada. How was it playing in the Macedonian Hockey League? It, it was good. It, it wasn't 100% Macedonians, but the, the ones that were there, definitely uh, it was a great way to get involved with the community and um, just be friends with fellow Macedonians. It, it was a great league. Uh, pretty competitive league too and you know, it, it was something that I knew my uh, uncle had played in that league and I remember going to the games with my Baba and Neto watching him play and you know as a young kid thinking okay if I don't make it to the NHL this is always something that I can uh, definitely play in the Macedonia Hockey League later on and it was a great experience. Were you part of the team or did you know anyone part of the team that went with Steve Stamkos' father to Macedonia as part of a, a tour? No, I had heard of that. Uh, I remember my uncle told me about that and uh, he was playing around the same time as uh, Chris Stamkos, uh, but I didn't uh, know anyone that actually went over there. It sounded like a great experience for sure. Let's talk a little bit about Michael Trikos. Now, Michael, you're one of Canada's most renowned hockey writers and doing oh, a great you. job for the National Post and we're all proud of you. How did you get interested in, in journalism? Well, I've always been a, a writer. Um, when I was a kid, I've been writing stories. Um, so writing sports or just writing in newspapers was a natural extension. I went to Ryerson and studied journalism there. Um, I worked at the National Post. I worked at the Hockey News at the same time. So just kind of building a, a nice resume for myself and just trying to uh, get involved with the game any way I can and writing seems to be a natural way. That's fantastic. Now you cover the Toronto Maple Leafs and there's a lot of Maple Leafs fans watching our show here today, I'm, I'm sure. What is your opinion of their, we'll just ask one question about the Maple <laughs> Leafs because it's, it's uh, something that's current. What is your opinion of the rebuild that's, uh, that's uh, supposed to be taking place? Well, it's long overdue, isn't it? Uh, I think a lot of fans, and uh, I'm sure yourself, uh, probably count yourself among them, has probably been wanting a, a proper rebuild for a long, long time. So it's nice that they're finally going to strip it right down to the core, start with young guys. It's going to be painful for a few years, maybe four or five years, but you know what? They're going to do it right, and they're going to probably uh, get to the point, hopefully, where this team can start contending for a championship. That's great. Let's talk a little bit about some of the people I mentioned that are of Macedonian origin that, that have either played, been in management or ownership or, or players in the league. Let's start off with Steven Stamkos, an NHL superstar. What, tell us your view of Steven Stamkos as a hockey player. Well, even before a hockey player, just as a person, he's a tremendous individual. And I remember going to his house when he was uh, going to be drafted. Uh, by the Tampa Bay Lightning and invited me into his home not really knowing anything about me spent the day with him and the first thing you notice about Steven Stamkos is this guy is a hard worker and I remember he was working with skills coaches even back then and you look at him right now uh, twice the 50 goal score one of the best dynamic hockey players in the NHL I think had he been playing in a bigger market in Toronto or any of the Canadian cities, this guy would have been up there with Crosby in terms of just star potential. So he's just, I think, the greatest, uh, one of the greatest hockey players of our generation for sure.
Драги гледачи, следува вториот дел од репортажата посветена на Македонската хокеарска лига во Канада. Да погледнеме. Ед Јовановски, or as, as others try, try, tend to call him Ed Jovanovski, but in Macedonian, Ed Jovanovski. Your view of him as a hockey player? Well, just great. Uh, obviously, winding down his career right now, he's been dealing with a number of injuries, but you know, you, you look at him, uh, a top draft pick, uh, a long, long storied career in the NHL, and, and just a tremendous defenseman uh, playing for Florida, Vancouver, uh, various other teams. And, um, yeah, I think when I don't know if he's going to be a Hall of Fame player, but he's definitely among that class. You met, we mentioned Steve Stales earlier. He represented Canada internationally, uh, a thousand games. Just a really great hockey player. And nothing really came easy to Steve. Uh, I did a story on him just a few weeks ago, and you know, I, this is the guy that was placed on waivers, was subject to uh, an expansion draft, uh, was told by Mike Keenan that he couldn't, uh, he wasn't too, wasn't big enough to play defense, so they moved him to forward just in the middle of his career. So. He's a kind of guy that, not like a Stamkos where the talent is there and everything comes easy. This is a guy that really had to work for everything in the NHL and he's a great role model now for the Leafs in terms of a development coach and an assistant coach there. Jose Theodore, whose father is of Macedonian descent, was, was really a great goalie over the years. Yeah, and a great head of hair, right? <laughs> I, I remember uh, uh, just a great goaltender for Montreal. So good that uh, when they did draft Carey Price, uh, there were a lot of fans upset about that because they thought, why, why do you need that? You have Jose Theodore, who not only is a great goaltender uh, and won the Vezina, but uh, won the Hart Trophy for the NHL as well. I think that goes to goes to show just how good of a goaltender he was. That's fantastic, and as I mentioned, the others, Christopher Tanev, playing very well for Vancouver, very good hockey player. Yeah, and obviously, uh, we're not talking about the top guys here, but uh, Chris Tanev, the fact that he gets to the NHL and definitely making his mark in Vancouver, it's, it's definitely something. And then somebody like Mike Angelides, whose origins are from the village of uh, Armensko. Um, he's, uh, he, he actually played together with Steven Stamkos, I believe, for Tampa Bay, called up from the minors. Yeah, a really good minor hockey player. Uh, I think it was either Syracuse or Portland that he was playing for. But um, yeah, he's another guy that's trying to make his mark in the NHL. That's fantastic. Now getting to the ownership, Steve Stavro, the owner of the Toronto Maple Leafs for many years. Yeah, and uh, one, one of the better owners that the, the Toronto Maple Leafs have probably had over the years, uh, especially when you think about uh, coming after the Ballard years. Uh, Steve Stavros, I think, brought back a little bit more respectability on the ownership side. Born in the village of Gapresh, Kostursko, and Mike Illich, the current owner of the Detroit Red Wings and the Detroit Tigers, and and a, a famous pizza company in, <laughs> in North America who's really one of uh, North America's finest entrepreneurs of Macedonian descent. Yeah, and, and when you talk about owners in the NHL, I think uh, the Illiches are the gold standard. Uh, when you think about how many players keep re-signing there, how many players um, refuse free agency and just keep coming back to Detroit, it has a lot to do with the ownership there, and, and that's Mike Illich. Steve Coolius came to the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament a couple of years, and I've never laughed as hard in my life. He did a, he was the MC a couple of years ago, actually. Right. And uh, do you know Steve? I do know. I do know Steve. I played hockey with him, and yeah, he, he's a talkative guy. Uh, he, he's he's a funny guy, and definitely, television is where he is. Uh, uh, most comfortable and he's just a great guy. And his origins are from the village of uh, Tercia in the Lenin region. Uh, we've just talked a lot about, also actually there was another journalist who I neglected to mention, a longtime writer for the Globe and Mail, James Christie of Macedonian descent. Oh, I didn't even know that. Absolutely. We, I interviewed him in the past. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know James that well, but I know of him and I know uh, his work definitely. Uh, that's good to hear. Tell us about your heritage from your parents. Uh, what villages are your parents from? My father is from uh, Gornicho, and my mother, uh, though she was born in Canada, her father was uh, from Nov or is, from, is from Novoloni, and uh, the mother, or my baba, is from uh, Armensko. Oh, nice! Yeah. So you have something in common with Stephen Stamkos? Yes, <laughs> a little thing. <laughs> what is your favorite Macedonian food? Oh, Zelnik. Zelnik by far? H hands down, my Baba Zelnik. Uh, y you're not going to beat that. And I'm sure everyone says their Baba Zelnik is the best, but uh, yeah, I, I could eat that morning uh, lunch and dinner. Was the Macedonian pride instilled in you from a young age? I think so. I don't think it was ever pushed, but it was always there. And I think we were always raised with uh, that food, that culture, um, the language was being spoken around the house and definitely around holidays. And I know I didn't marry a Macedonian, but uh, my, my wife has been continuing that with our children as well. That's great. And there That's definitely great. is a pride there. And I think 
it's a sense of belonging. Question for you at the end of today's talk. Do you have a message for young Canadian Macedonians maybe wanting to get into journalism? You know what, uh, I think the best thing right now is um, just continue to write. And, you know, especially today with the internet, what it is, and with blogs and various other ways of connecting through social media, uh, the best way if you want to get involved in writing and journalism is, you know, I just keep writing and hopefully one day you'll get noticed. I can't say enough about uh, your, your, uh, your great uh, words today. Michael, you did a terrific job. Thank you so much for being on the Macedonian Heritage Hour. When you emailed me back, I was so happy that you said that you used to watch our show when you were young. Yeah, and I still do watch it. That's uh, great. That's it, fantastic. It's one of those things, Saturday mornings, uh, or afternoons. sorry, afternoons, sorry. <laughs> Saturday afternoons, uh, I always flip the channel to the Macedonian Heritage. You know, you never know who you're going to see on that show. You might be seeing yourself very soon. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Mike, on behalf of uh, MK Hockey, the Macedonian Hockey League, we uh, want to thank you for coming out today and for being part of the Macedonian Heritage Hour. And we'd like to give you a MK Hockey toque and an MK Hockey long sleeve t-shirt, which the boys win when they win a championship. <laughs> so I did. Сега зборуваме со Жан Скендерес кој игра за тимот Еге во Мака Хоке Лига, односно Македонска Хоке Лига. А, јас памтам кога во 80-90-те години ти беше многу активно во студентските друштва, нели, на Универзитетот на Торонто, мислам. А, точно така беше бил, тоа беше 92-а со Македонската парада. А, бевме во организација Маси и сеја се внимаваме со Лигата МК Хаки, се соберваме со наши пријатели, наши луѓа и... Играм хаки еднаш не дома. Многу добро зборуваш македонски. Благодарам. Сега од кој села се татко ти и мајка ти? Од кој места се? Татко ми од Гавриш Костурско, мајка ми од Лажене и Леринско. Дали ти се допаѓа ова лига? Дали ти се бендисува во ова лига? Зошто е, зошто е добро да бидеш играч во ова македонска лига? Лигата е супер затоа што можеме со наши луѓе, наши деца да се, да се гледаме, се ние сме малку постари, али имаме некако да се собираме македончини од секој секакви секој крајови на Македонија да се гледаме. Многу убаво. Дали имаш еден еден поздрав, една порака за македонците на крај? Еден месеж дали има? Да кажам само да да гледаме напред, да бидеме оп, оптимизми за иднината и да ако има други деца македончини, ако сега да доаѓаат тука да играт, што ми имаме повеќе деца само толку подобро. Драги гледачи, драги македонци и наши пријатели, тоа беше Джан Скендерес кој игра за тимот Еге во Мака, Мака Хокей Лига, односно Македонска Хокей Лига. Уште еднаш благодарам. Благодарам ќе. What is your name? Саш Павловски. How do you like playing in the Macedonian Hockey League? I love it. I'm really proud to have a league that we can call our own. It's an awesome place for us to get together. We are now speaking with two sons of a very famous hockey player of Russian descent, Nikolai Borshevsky. For those of you who are fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I'm sure you'll know him very well. He did a great job when he was playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We are speaking with his two sons who are playing in the Maka Hockey League, the Macedonian Hockey League for the Ege team. Uh, we're speaking with Val Valeri Borshevsky and Nikolai Borshevsky. Val, tell us, tell us why you joined the Macedonian Hockey League. Well, you know what, the reason that we joined the Macedonian Hockey League is because Igor Mironov recommended the league to us. He said it was a good league to play in, and it's really friendly, safe, and that's generally the reason. It's a lot of fun, and we uh, enjoy playing with the guys here. Do you, uh, did your dad, uh, does your dad ever come to the games? You know what, it would be nice for him to show up, but he's actually overseas coaching in, uh, in the Russian League over there. So unfortunately, he can't come out. Nikolai. Tell us about uh, your involvement in the Macedonian League. What do you think of the league? I think the league is very fun. A lot of the players are aggressive. We come in day out, everyone shows up to play, and it's a very fun league, and that's pretty much it, I would say. Can you say anything in Macedonian yet? No, not at all. But in Russian? In Russian, no. At the, at the Igra, watching classes, yes. Well, we say Igra and Macedonian too, so it's the same thing. Well, I guess I know some Macedonian then. I'm glad. Say hi to your dad from our show. Привет, пап. I love you. We're now speaking with Igor Mironov from the Pirin team of the Maka Hockey League, the Macedonian Hockey League. And it's a great honor to speak with you, Igor. You are the son 
a former Toronto Maple Leaf, Dimitri Miranov. That's correct. How did you get involved in this league? Uh, just uh, through some mutual uh, uh, friends playing hockey. I uh, got involved with a couple of Macedonian uh, uh, people that run the, run the league here. I was introduced to it and you know, happy to say this is uh, going on my uh, second full year playing and it's, uh, it's been a great time so far. Did uh, you play organized hockey before this? Yeah, I, uh, I played a little bit of um, uh, college in the, uh, in the U.S., NCAA Division I for four years. Uh, played a little bit of minor professional uh, in, the, uh, in the Southern Professional League and um, a year overseas in, in Italy in the top league there. So, uh, uh, you know, just happy to be playing with friends now, not competitive. Can you say anything in Macedonian yet? Uh, a few things here and there, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, I guess, a little bit of the same language, uh, some words, but uh, I'm still learning, so I... I don't want to embarrass myself. Say one word at least if you can think of it. Uh, I know Skopsko. Skopsko pivo, sko beer from Skopje. Is it good beer? Do you like it? Yeah, you know what? I always like uh, you know, uh, expanding my culture not just by with, <laughs> with food and, and, uh, and drinks. So yeah. That's great. Say something in Russian too. Всем привет. Я очень рад, что я с людьми такими играю. И большое спасибо, что вы меня здесь берете интервью. И с того времени не сме благодарны, что что дойде от на наш относно, что си делна наша та эмиссия македонски корени и се гордееме, что ти и ако не си македонец играш во македонската лига. You lost me there, but uh, I, got, I got the gist of it. No, I'm, I'm proud to be playing here with some good people. It's a great honor to speak with Alex Stoyan and Brad Karoulis of the Vardar team of the Maka Hockey League, Macedonian Hockey League. Alex, uh, tell us a little bit about being in this league and how do you enjoy it? Um, I love being in the league. It's uh, a lot of Macedonian boys and uh, my brother, the Stoyan family, the Karoulis family and the Balkas family, we are originators with Lutaskas and uh, it's just a great experience. Love it. What village are your parents from? My mom's from Boof and my dad is from Vespina. Great, and now I understand you played, uh, you played you know, in organized hockey, went as far as the Markham Waxers, I believe. Yeah, I did, but it compares nothing to uh, MK hockey. It's better. Much better. You got that Macedonian spirit. That's it, you know, it's the best, best hockey ever. Speaking now with Brad Karoulis. Brad, I understand you do a great job on the website. Yeah, it's uh, something to keep the guys interested in the league, seeing scoring leaders, seeing, seeing updated standings on the uh, teams and what's going on in the playoffs. Where are your parents from originally? My mom's from Booth and my dad's from German. And how do you like playing in this league? It's the most fun I've ever had in a men's league. 44 guys, all friends, no uh, fights, no rough stuff, everyone just gets along. That's great. Do you have a message for the Macedonian Heritage Hour for our viewers? Um, yeah, I love Zelnik and uh, go Max Macedonian Hockey. If anybody uh, is around, summertime you play Wednesday nights, come out, uh, Vaughn Sports of the Village, uh, it's a great time. The website address one more time for our viewers? It's uh, mkhockey.ca. Fresh Batch of Zilnik gets you in for one season free. One more time? Fresh Batch of Zilnik gets you one season free. <laughs> I'm Michael Trikos of the National Post. Watch the Macedonian Heritage Hour on Omni Television.